You better be careful of the words coming out of people's mouth. Are you hear me up in this house? The court system is overrun. Praise God because of lies. People want to lie on you. People in the workplace, they don't even like you. They don't even know you. But yet they will start a conspiracy until lies are packed you just to get you devoted. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say what that say the Lord today and then I want to minister to those of you who have come to be delivered, to be prophesied, to be healed. Am I talking to any of those people? Now far, wherever you are, whatever you have come in need of today, I believe Jesus will meet you at the point of need. For those of you who have places to go, things to do, and people, more important people to meet, we understand. But for those of you that will stay, may God bless you today. Amen. Proverbs 18, 21. You can go there this morning. I read it to you. Uh, do I have my reader? Yes, Amen. Death and life. Yes. Are in the power of the tongue. Uh huh. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Read it again, everyone, please, everyone. It's De called Proverbs, right after the book of Psalms. Psalms, the Proverbs. Okay. 18 and 21. Read yes, it, ma please. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Shall eat the fruit of it. Death and life exist somewhere. Where does death and life exist? Where can you find death and life in the same place? At the same time, at the same age, no racism, at the same color, death and life in the town. Amen. Go quickly. Amen. Matthew 12 and verse number, I will read from verse number 33. Either you make a tree good yes. and it's fruit good or else you make the tree corrupt. Yes. Somebody say corrupt. 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 Do you know what the word corrupt means? Something that is defiled. Yes. Something that is messy. Something that has been contaminated. Yes. He said either do what? Make the tree good uh -huh. and his fruit good uh -huh. or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. Once the tree becomes corrupted, the fruit is automatic corrupt. Read. For the tree is known by his fruit. Every tree is known by the fruit it bears. Read. Oh, generation of vipers. Jesus is speaking. He said, you bunch of snakes, read. How can you, being evil, speak good things? I didn't expect you to have anything good to say about me, even though I am the Christ, son of the living God. You still take an occasion to call me Beelzebub. Read. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Did you not understand, as I told you from the beginning, whatever is in your heart is going to come out of your mouth? Read. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth good Whenever things. Whenever a man has a good heart, the only thing he can speak about you is good things. Yes. Read. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. Read. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall 
speak every idle word that a man shall speak they shall give account thereof you shall give an account for it in the day of judgment read verse 37 for by thy word uh -huh. thou shalt be justified uh -huh. and by thy words thou shalt be condemned you shall be condemned yes ma'am verse go now to first kings 19 and ahab told jezebel all that Elijah had done to their prophets, their false prophets. Yes. How he had killed all of them. 450 false prophets. And yes. 400 prophets of the grove. Yes. And how he has slain all of the false prophets with his sword. Yes. Verse 2. Then Jezebel sent a messenger. Sent a messenger, a son of Belial, with a lying word. Unto Elijah saying, uh -huh. Let the gods do unto me, and more also, and worse also, if I make not thy life, if I don't make your life as Elijah, the life of one of them, as one of them, by tomorrow about this time. She's even giving him the time that he will die. Be it done unto me, moreover. If by this time tomorrow, my gods, my idol, my demonic powers does not kill you just as you have killed my false prophets. Somebody tell the person on the side of you words. Words. Are dangerous. Are dangerous. Tell the next person on the side of you, say words. Words. Can be dangerous. Can be dangerous. Words. Words. Can also heal. Can also heal. The power of prophetic reversal. The power of prophetic Give God reversal. praise right where you are. Hallelujah. Oh, be careful of what you speak. Uh, oh, be careful. Be mouth. careful. Little mouth. What you speak. What you say. Yeah. Be careful, little mouth. Tell them what you say. Say it. Be careful, little mouth. Be careful, little, little mouth. mouth. What you say. What, what you, say. you say. Give God praise and you may be seated. Hallelujah. The Lord began to speak this word to us just a few years ago. And then he came back and he reiterated this word in your hearing amen in recent days because I begin to say God haven't you not spoken this word before and he said yes I am a sovereign speaking God and I speak ye once ye twice and I want people to hear the counsel of what I am saying Praise God. So there is sometimes, amen, in your life, the need for repetition. And repetition does not signify that you are deaf or hard of hearing or you are dumb. But it comes sometimes as a point of reiteration so that you can have understanding of what the person is saying. I wish I had a really a praying church this morning. Hallelujah. So God takes the occasion to speak to us because why? He wants us to understand that everything he has given to us and placed on the inside of us is for a reason. Praise God. Amen. Amen. In our society, in the time we live in, by the time a man dies, he would have spoken, yea, millions of words. Are you hearing me up in this house? By the time a woman dies, she would have heard and spoken millions and millions of words why because words praise God help to frame and formulate praise God our lives is anybody words 
help to formulate your words help to make you the person the woman who you are if it was not for words or somebody speaking a word in your life praise God a teacher speaking something to you you would have never learned your lesson am I talking to you this morning so words had to be spoken your parents had to speak a word praise God amen just so that you can get an understanding of hygiene how to carry yourself as a girl or a boy am I talking to you so words were always spoken words are powerful somebody said words are powerful words are powerful because if you don't know praise God how to process words or how to process even a thought that comes to your mind you will speak words that are condemning and damning Amen. Amen. My God, come on prophet so you would notice that people who are, have a limited word uh, vocabulary uh, their mouth is full of filth uh, and their mouth is full amen of cuss words and, and profanity y'all ain't never met them kind of people before uh, they ain't got nothing good to say about you or to you and all if they ever get in a confrontation with you uh, the only thing they can say is flip flop flip a little flip a little you're right prophetess <laughs> Ignorant and void of word power. Yes, yes. Am I correct? You're right, Ignorant you're right. and void of word power. But, but somebody who understands uh, the power of words, uh, they know how to navigate and how to use uh, the right word at the right time. Yes. Uh, they understand that every subject uh, must have a verb uh, in agreement with it. Am I talking? Oh, come on, prophet. Yes, ma'am. Come on, prophetess. <laughs> You ain't got to be a university graduate, but if you understand the power of words, uh, the power of words and what, how to use a word. Uh, he said words are like arrows shot. Uh, come on, somebody can kill you uh, without even, praise God, uh, ever laying hands on you on. just by speaking some kind of word. Uh, oh, Jesus. Hallelujah! Am I talking to you? Yeah. I said people can kill you. They can poison you without even touching you. Right. Just saying one word about you. Come on, somebody. Taking amen. People can cause amen an aggressive response just by saying one word about your mama. Am I talking to somebody? Hey, am I talking to you? You want to pick a fight in high school? Talk about somebody, mama. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He says, it's your ma. <laughs> hey, no, it's not right. It's okay when they say, it's your pa. Yeah, go with your ugly pa. You was all right, praise God. But when they say, yeah, you're ugly just like your ma. What you say about my ma? <laughs> now, bear in mind, they ain't say nothing about your ma. They say, you ugly, just like your ma. But just because you heard ma, that word did something to you. It initiated a response that wanted you to get, amen, amen, stylistic. <laughs> Somebody shout words. Words are powerful. Are powerful. Words words. Are, powerful. are powerful. Words are powerful. Words can jack you up or jack you down. Words can cause you to run all around town. Words are dangerous. Am I talking to anybody? Somebody shout dangerous. Dangerous. Words are dangerous. And so words have gotten people in bed with the wrong person. Words. Amen. Just sweet words. Sweet, amen. Slippery, slimy words. Got people in the back seat of cars. Come on, somebody, words. And y'all don't look at me like this. Words. My prophet, you're right. Words. 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 Words are powerful. Not the person say words are powerful and they're dangerous. Words. A word can jack you up or jack you down. Words. Words. Sad war. Words. Sad war. Words. Sad war. Yes. Words start wars. Yes. Are you hearing me? 
Well, well, it's one word. Hey, I say one word. One word. One president fire back at the next president. One word. Come on, someone. And all you heard was fire. Yes. My husband had a brother. He is deceased. He had one little chain. Well, am I right, Apostle? He told me the story. He had one little chain. One little cold chain. You know, back in the 80s, to be wearing a cold chain. Amen. You were saying something. Come on, somebody. And he had one little cheap cold chain Hallelujah. with a little charm on it. And he said, I watch my brother. Amen. Carry down more women. Hook, line, and sinker. Come on, somebody. Because a one word is yours, baby. It's yours. He said, I, <laughs> he said, I watch that joker. Come on, somebody. Amen. Get women. He said, that time he used to be on the back of the truck. And the truck, amen, parked with his truck shaking like this. He said, hey. Yeah. And they never get the gym. And nobody <laughs> to this day ever got that little flimsy, cheesy, gold chain. Words are dangerous. Are y'all hearing me in this place? Words, one word. Amen. Get people in all kind of trouble. Get people out their mind. Because somebody spoke a word over them or to them. I know you all going to act deep this morning. Because you didn't want nobody to know it's you. But you know it's you. You better open up your mouth so you can get delivered today. Words are dangerous. Words cost you, praise God, to go on the wrong job. Words cost you to even to lose a good job. Am I talking to somebody? It was words that got you pregnant. It was words that caused you to have an abortion. It was words that gave you a miscarriage. It was words that caused you to separate from your wife and your husband. It was words that took you to the divorce court. If it wasn't for the power of words, you would have still been to Still been in the church. Still been in the church. Coming epistle. It was words that got you out of the church. Yeah. Yeah. It was words that tried you. Yes. Out of the ministry. Yes. I know you want to say it was the devil, but it was words. It was words. It was the words you heard. It was the words you was that was spoken to you. It was the words and things that people said about the apostle and the prophet that got you out. And words are so dangerous that words cause people to forget the miracles that God used us to perform in their life. I know what I'm preaching. Words are dangerous. Come on, somebody. Words will make you forget how God brought you from the bottom and pushed you to the top. Words. I better stay over here. They look like they understand what I say. Words. Words. Words cause people to to forget, to become confused. Words cause people to compromise. Words cause people to have amnesia and they forget that it was caught that opened the door that made a way out of no way. Am I talking to somebody? Words are dangerous. Words are dangerous. Words spoken out of the wrong mouth will turn your life solely away from the presence of somebody please shout words 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 will cause you to leave a good church words one word that somebody come on the side of you like a snake and speak in your spirit and say ah look at that look at that words is the devil amen number one amen right hand spying partner you only hear me up in this house words is satan's number one agent i know you taught it was fornication and adultery i know you taught his number one agent 
was homosexual. He just looked like everybody trying to go that way, but the devil is a liar. His number one agent is words. He understand the power and the potency of words. He already knew in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, yeah. and the word was made by God, yeah. and the seed that was in the beginning hey. is now. He understands. Yes. Oh, praise prophet. He understand the power of words he understood that guess what if I can get you to be to hear the wrong words come on, come on somebody come on. if I can get you yes. to believe the wrong word come on somebody then I gotcha 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 I gotcha amen wholesale that's why the devil come on somebody will take truth lace it with lies and give it back to you because he already know that whatever you supposed to become uh, you will fail uh, in the best university uh, if I start to speak words that's what he did in the garden <laughs> he never tell the person words words Words. Use them words in the garden. He used them words. He used them words. He took. He took truth and he, he twisted the truth and, and he said, uh, uh, "Evil." Shall not surely die. He said. He said, "Evil." Did, did God say? Didn't God say, uh, "If you eat of this tree, yeah. you you will not surely die." Yeah. Huh? He said, "If you eat the fruit, you you can get a little sick." Yeah, you shall not surely die. You get a little dizzy, a little nausea. You know. You can get some knowledge. But you can get knowledge with it. Think about it. You ain't gonna surely die. You gonna, you gonna go a little blind in one eye, deaf in one ass. Hey, hey man. Your, your assets gonna break down. Yeah. Your corporation gonna stop working, but you ain't gonna be dead. Yeah, dead. Get arthritis and diabetes and stuff. But. He said, You should not surely die. Eve, jump for the lie, jump for the words, and so she ate the fruit and gave it to Adam. When she ate the fruit and gave it to Adam, the Bible said their eyes were open. Now you would think eyes opening is a supernatural thing. It's a great blessing eh? because now your eyes are open. But hear me now. What is your eye open to see? The eyes became open but instead of them seeing the greater dimensions of God they begin to see the flesh they begin to see the flesh they begin to see the world they begin to see how naked they was can I preach like I feel like I'm preaching to somebody that's ready to grow, develop and mature the eyes became open and then Adam realized I am naked and the Bible said he hid himself because now he is naked. This knowledge, sensual knowledge, and knowledge of the demonic words will cause you to hide from God. Instead of you running to God, you begin to run away from God. Instead of you trusting in God, you begin to trust in man. Am I talking to somebody? So that's what disobedience to the voice of God and to the word of God will cause you to do. See, God is like this. He wrapped himself in light and time and he wrapped himself in words. So that's why in Genesis 1 and the Bible wrote these words it said, and God said let there be light and there was light and God said amen, let the stars and the firmament, come on somebody, let there be the fowls of the air the fish of the sea God said, God kept saying until everything uh, in the whole universe uh, was created uh, God said it uh, and then that said hallelujah yeah. mm. the only thing God did not create by words was man but he even said let us 
make man in our image and in our likeness. Then he stooped in the dirt and formed man. And the Bible said, then he breathed into man the breath of God, the breath of life. And man became a living, functioning soul. I want to preach to you this morning, people, because I need some of y'all to know what messing y'all up. Praise God. It's words. It's words that you speak out of your mouth. It's words that you allow people to speak concerning you out of their mouth. I know I ain't gonna get much people right now, but I'm gonna do what I hear the Lord say to her. God says it's time now to get your weak self over the satanic words. It's time to get yourself over praise God the lying words of wicked people that don't know you know your God. Come on. Come on. Listen to the wrong tongue. Listen to the wrong mouth. Words coming from the wrong mouth. Coming out of the wrong. The wrong mouth. Huh? It's so good. Sit down. Let me make it gooder for you. I love hungry children. Every mama love hungry children. Matura, Matura. You hear me preaching to you? Yes, mama. You better listen to what I say. Yes, mama. I'll whip you. <laughs> but why you ain't growing? I don't know. <laughs> Words coming up the wrong route kill you. So we have a tendency of listening to the wrong voice. A voice will speak, but the voice you hear and obey will determine the right or wrong. Yes. God asks Adam, who told you yeah. that you were naked? Come on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. on. Only me and you all supposed to be in this garden. Who in Jesus Christ's name? Which voice Somebody informed did. you? You were naked. Did you understand that? Yeah. He said, which voice, apostle? Ooh. Who? Ooh. Who gave you information system analysis? You didn't run well. <laughs> huh? You didn't run well. Who, 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 who predicts you? Come on, in the ball. Who told you which nation, which tribe, which people? Somebody. You, told you. You was doing so good. That you was, you was doing good. You were speaking. You could hear me walking in the garden. Yeah. In the cool of the day. And you were just a man. You was having conversations with me and I with you. And you wasn't even a prophet, Adam. And yet you was naming cow, cow, and monkey, monkey, and raven, and dove, and bird, and... Right. My God. You broke the divine connection. Some of you don't understand, but you're breaking your divine connection because you're listening to the wrong voice. Yes, yes. I, I, I get my help over there. I still, oh. I still think I gotta stay over here. My God, how, how do you let someone talk you out of such a blessing? You are in a high place. My God, how? With the most high God. Yes. How in Jesus' name do you allow somebody that's lower than God, that's lower than you, Shakanakasaka, to talk you out my God. of your spiritual place? Oh my God. Ooh. I need to be in the garden. Fellowship and talking with God. To be in the garden, surrounded by four rivers. Rivers. Fruits. Have the cow. Every day. Python. Euphrates. Yes. Are you hearing? So, the, 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 in a garden. My God. Surrounded by four. Everything they can get off of you. The river bites into four heads. My God. Come on. The animals obeyed you. Animals came and obeyed you. You was vegan, but you were still strong. Yes. Oh my God. I had everything made. Eating 
from the right tree of life where you'll never grow old but you let the snake tempt you to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil I want to eat from the tree of life I want to eat from every word with the scripture you read this morning that proceeded out of the mouth of God that's what I want to live on that's what I want to live in I don't want the word from no liars are you all my God I want to drink from your well Lord I want to drink from your well I don't want to live on the words from the government. They just oh. lie. Oh, man. They just a bunch of... Oh, sorry. Oh. Come on. Every five years, they can have a different life for you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's what it is. So now God began to say, I must hurry people. I have to deliver some people. God knows that words are dangerous. They are powerful. It's powerful. just powerful. Powerfully good or powerfully yes. bad. Yes. Words are Persuasive. Powerful. Very persuasive. Very leading or misleading. A word can lead you to hell or lead you to heaven. Yes. It can lead you to life or lead you to your death. Yes. Words. One word can get you so angry that you drive off and lose control. Are you hearing me? Words. People persuade you by reason of his words. The Bible said in the book of Judges, amen, that Delilah persuaded him by reason of her words. You thought this, you thought Delilah just did a lap dance on Why Samson. Not? No, before she got him in his lap, in her lap. Come on, somebody. She began to move with words. Her body began to contort and to shake like Samson never Come saw on. it shaken before. She said, oh, Samson, you don't love me. You don't love me, Samson. She said, you don't love me. You don't love me because you keep lying to me. Hey, you, you don't love me. She began to say, love me tender, love me true. All oh, my dreams come true, darling, oh. Yes. Ah. Oh, yes. Yes, a, wo a woman can be very persuasive. <laughs> All right, Apostle, I have the mic. <laughs> he is now... <laughs> he is now being overtaken. Yes. And his mouth is open, and he doesn't even realize... Oh, yeah, no. Sorry. He didn't know where he died at that, that the secret. He did not even know when he told her where his strength lies. Words. Words will turn you on your spouse. Yes. Jezebel will use somebody mm -hmm. to speak words to you. Now, words written is powerful, but words spoken okay. is even much more powerful. Yes. Because it engages the mouth, yes. the mind, the yes. brain, the sensory organs. Yes. Words spoken is so powerful. I told you when we were children, we used to say sticks and stones. Yeah. May break my bones, but words. May it have no sense then. No sense <laughs> at all. <laughs> words did a lot of damage because oh, yeah. I got to show you people of God that where you are now is because of a word that was spoken in your spirit. Are you hear me? Where you are spiritually, financially, praise God, mentally, emotionally, it's because of a word that was spoken. If you find yourself in a place, God, amen, depressed state, it's because of words. If you find yourself in a broke place, it's because of words. If you find yourself in a blessed place, it's because God used somebody to speak a word. I'm not talking to you. If spiritually you are dry and drought and you have no more prayer life in your mouth then it means because of a word you went after something that drew you away from the presence of God. So I got to hurry now because now the Lord said, he said my word shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that which is set forth to accomplish. I begin to tell you amen in the book of 1 Kings 19 that when Jezebel wanted to and give in the vineyard of Nabal to her husband 
husband, that wicked man, Ahab, she sent messengers with lying words. I don't have time to go into the scripture today, but the Bible said that Jezebel hired some men. In the Bible, they were called the sons of Belial. She hired these men, amen, to conjure up a lie concerning, amen, Naboth. And the Bible said that when they went to the court, to the seat of the government, they sat in the seat of the elders and they raised up a lie concerning Naboth because why the king Ahab wanted his vineyard and Ahab amen Naboth told even the king and the queen Jezebel I can't give you my inheritance this is my portion that was given to me from my forefathers as a blessing and the bible said that Ahab and his big old low down weak self gone home and cried to Jezebel and Jezebel said why are you crying are you not the king words are you not the king he said oh yeah I'm the king I'm the king baby Jesse I'm the king yes you are the king you are the king honey yes don't cry baby don't cry no I'm not gonna cry oh boy I did that. baby when I say stop crying when I tell you stop crying when I tell you when your wife tell you that she can do something and I, even I done it for you he said yes baby and so Jezebel gone on a mission and had neighbor killed because why they stole neighbor because of a lie that some Somebody told uh, on somebody that was innocent. Uh, people of court, uh, I got to take a detour for a minute. Uh, that's the reason why uh, so many lies are in derision today. Uh, because people are telling lies uh, on innocent people. Uh, could I preach a word up in this house? Uh, you better be careful of the words uh, coming out of people's mouth. Uh, are you hearing me up in this house? Uh, the court system is overrun. Uh, praise God because of lies. Uh, people want to lie on you. People in the workplace, they don't even like you. They don't even know you. But yet they will start a conspiracy until lies about you just to get you demoted. Oh, I, 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 I'm preaching to somebody. I feel Jesus in this place. I'm preaching a word today to deliver somebody that all your life you've been lied on. You've been lied to. You've been lied about. 